Hi students, today we will learn about the one of the important question of law of dimensioning utility. The law of dimensioning utility was originally explained by the H.S. Gossett in 1854. Hence, it is called in Gossett's first law. Later, it was popularized and analyzed by Alfred Marshall. Marshall, in a definition of Laws. The additional benefit which a person derives from a given increase of his stock of a thing demands with every increase in stock that he already has. It is defined as a name Alfred Marshall. In next one, total utility and marginal utility. In total utility, the total utility is the total amount of satisfaction which a person which a person consume which a person gets from the consumption of all units of commodity it can be explained as total utility equal to f of q n here t u n means total utility of n f means function q n means quantity of n commodity in next word marginal utility the marginal utility is the Additional utility obtained from an additional unit of commodity. Commodity to consumed. It can be expressed as marginal utility equal marginal utility equal total utility equal total utility n minus one units. Has explanation of law in a in this total utility and marginal utility explanation of law this law explains the functional relationship between stock of commodity and its marginal utility of commodity if a consumer goes on increasing his stock of thing additional utility derived from an Additional unit decline. This law can be explained with the help of in following table. In first one, units of commodity. In next one, total utility, marginal utility. In this one to six, in a first one, two, three, four, five, six unit, uh, units of apples. In next one, total utility. Units in 40, 70, 90, 100, 190. In next one, marginal utility. The marginal utility means total utility minus n minus 1 units. In 40 minus 0, 40. In 70 minus 40, 30. In 90 minus 70, 20. 100 minus 90, 10. 100 minus 100, 0. In 90 minus 100, in minus in next one, in the above table, in explanation has, uh, in, in the above table, the units of commodity increases the in total unit, utility. In 42, in 100, it is also in increase for the in total unity. At, in diminishing rate, at the in fourth apple, it can be in fourth apple, it is also in diminishing. The fourth apple, but marginal utility in decreases. It can be in decreases for the fourth apple. In next one, fifth apple in total utility is in maximum stage. But marginal utility, it becomes a in zero. In fifth apple, in total utility, it is also in maximum. In a marginal utility, it is in zero. In a, after this point, in 6th apple, the total utility in decreases. 
in 100 to 90 it same decreases and thus the marginal liquidity becomes a in negative it is also in explanation of in this above table in next one the relationship between total liquidity and marginal utility when the total liquidity increases at a demand shining rate the total liquidity it is also in increases in demand shining rate the marginal liquidity it becomes a in decreases in next one when total utility in maximum the total liquidity in maximum in next one the marginal liquidity it becomes a in negative when total liquidity in decreases when total liquidity in sixth apple in decreases and marginal liquidity becomes a in negative stage negative stage this can be explained in with the help of in a uh, graph of diagram in first one in 1 to 6 in x axis and uh, difference between the in 20 20 digits in y axis okay in first one in a uh, total utility it can be in first apple in 40 in this uh, in this one in second one it is also in a 70 in next third one 90 in fourth apple 100 in fifth apple 100 in sixth uh, apple it is also in 90 in this curve in a total utility curve it is also in total utility curve in next one marginal utility curve okay in first stage in 40 in second uh, in second one 30 in third one 20 in fourth apple in 10 in fifth apple in 0 in sixth apple in minus 10 it is also in a marginal utility curve okay in next one explain about the in this uh, diagram okay in the above diagram and x axis in this above diagram in x axis it can be in units of apples and y axis in total utility and marginal utility is the in total utility curve and marginal utility curves in next the total utility is slope upwards left to in right it can be in slope up to in left left to in right a it becomes a in maximum stage in this stage in maximum stage next the marginal utility curve in slope downwards to left to right it can be in doubt in left to right in next one it touching the in x axis in fifth apple it can be in x axis touching to the in fifth apple which means marginal utility in becomes a zero marginal utility becomes a in zero after total utility is decreasing the total utility in after decreasing in next one marginal utility in becomes a in negative stage it is also in negative stage okay thanks for watching